What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can make objects appear and disappear based on a selection with in a button. So as you can see right now, winner is selected and winner is shown. And now if you select loser, winner doesn't show and loser does show. So to show you how to do that, first and foremost, you need to have access to the developer tab and you need to know how to record macros. I'm just going to show you how to do it in this video. So if you don't know how to get the developer tab shown, I'm going to have a link in the description to show you how you can get the developer tab. So first what you need to do is you need to insert whatever object you are looking to have appear and disappear. I'm going to use the form control button in this example. I just copied and pasted the button that I inserted and changed the text. So Next, we're going to use another object with the object being an option button for the purposes of this example. We need to do the same thing. So now that we have option buttons in place, next we need to record a couple macros. So to do that, you just go to the developer tab, record macro. This macro we're going to call it winner2. And basically, I'm going to make it to where the loser button won't show, the winner button will show based on this macro. So after starting to record the macro, I'm going to go to Home, Find and Select Selection Pane at the bottom. Then I'm going to say Option Button 2 is not shown. I'm going to drop recording the macro. From this point, I'm then going to right-click on the winner option button, go to Assign Macro, and Assign Winner 2. Then, I'm just going to repeat the same thing for Loser. So, Record Macro, Loser 2. Go to Home. Go to the same thing, um, Find and Select, Selection Pane. Then make it to where button one is not visible, but button, button two is visible. Stop recording the macro. And then assign the macro to loser two. And that's it. So now, as you can see, if I select winner, winner shows, the loser, loser shows. But this is really cool though, because you can do it with a variety of objects. So, for example, I could have switched it around to where the option buttons would have shown or not shown based on the selection. Or you can even, even do this with images. So you can have images show and not show based on selections in a an option button. But another thing you can do that's kind of cool is you can overlap these as well. It's not perfect at the moment. It's going to need a bit of moving around. But you, but you kind of get the point where you can just kind of winner, loser. And also just as kind of like an example, I paused the video and did this real quick. So as you can see, instead of using buttons, buttons as in this example, I made it to where you can use you work in the images instead. So click sun, it shows the sun. Click moon, it shows moon. These aren't the best images, but I feel like it gets the point across though as to what this can do. Um, so that being said, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you. Have a great day.